tree, a particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point O. Its displacement is given by this one, where t is time in second after it start moving. A determine expression for the velocity function, acceleration function of the particle in term of t. So we know that we have s. So here from s we can get v and from v we can get a. So to get a, we can only get a after we know what is our v. So s to v, we do differentiation. So going to the back, this one is also differentiation dv over dt. So we know that if this way is uh, differentiation so if we are going the other way around then it is integration so here to find s so we have to integrate v and then here to find v we must integrate a depending on what we have okay so in this case we have s is equal to a plus 2t minus t square right so here we wanted to find v and a so to find a we must find v first and v is equal to ds over dt. So, differentiate 2t, we get 2. Differentiate negative t square, we get negative 2t. Okay. And then, a is equal to dv over dt. So, differentiate 2, we get 0. Differentiate negative 2t, we get negative 2. Okay. Alright. We sketch the graph of displacement, velocity and acceleration function of the particle for 0 to 4. Then interpret the graph. So we see here for A, we can see that it is a fixed value. It won't be affected by any T, right? So this one is a straight line of negative 2. So we see here 0 to 4. So here we check what is our displacement. So we see here 0 to T, right? So we start when T is equal to 0, S is equal to 8 plus 2. 0 minus 0 square. So here we get A, right? And then we see here T, and then we see here V, sorry, V is equal to 2 minus 2, 0, because we are talking about T is equal to 0 now. So here we get 2. So this one is the initial. So we see here T is equal to 4. So why we don't calculate A? Because we know the value is negative 2 and it won't be affected by T. So here S is equal to 8 plus 2, 4 minus 0 square. You get 4 square, right? Because you are going to substitute 4. So 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. Okay. So V is equal to. So this one is 2 minus 2, 4. So here we get. 2 minus 2, 4, you get 2 minus negative 8, you get negative 6. So you see here, this one is your S, right? But then you see here, your velocity is changing from positive to negative. And we know that in our graph, velocity represents gradient. So we see here the changing of gradient. So we see here, positive going to negative. So we must know what is the maximum point so here so what is the maximum point so what happened maximum point at this point the gradient is zero so v is equal to zero so when v is equal to zero so we see here we have 2 minus 2 t is equal to zero 2 t is equal to 2 t is equal to 1 so we know that at maximum point here t is equal to 1 so here when t is equal to 1 we know that our V is 0 and then our S is equal to, so we have 8 plus 2T, T is 1 minus 1 square. So here we get 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 minus 1 is 9. So the maximum point is 9. So we see here this is our graph. So we can say that the maximum value is 9 here and the minimum is negative 6. So basically we just divide 9 and negative 6 maybe somewhere here. So we have if 3, 6, 9, negative 3, negative 6, negative 9. 3, 6, 9. So negative 3, negative 6, negative 9. So our t is positive obviously because it is time. So this one is the graph for S, V and A. Okay, we are going to do it in one. So we have 0, 
So we see here our a just now a is equal to negative two, right? So it will always be negative two. So here negative three. So maybe negative two is somewhere here. So this is the graph of a. So this one is a is equal to negative two. So now for v, we know that our v is a straight line, right? So our v is a straight line. So just now we get that. Our v is equal to 2 minus 2t two or this one is also equal to y is equal to negative 2x plus 2. So basically a straight line when you have two points you can just plot. So at 0 v is equal to 2. So here we get 0 2. So this one is 0 2. 0 2 is might be here. Okay and then at t is equal to 4 velocity is negative 6. So negative 6 is here. Negative 6 is at 4. Okay, so which is here, so you just make a straight line. Alright, and then you see here, just now we know that at t is equal to 1, v is equal to 0. So basically, it's supposed to be crossing this line. So this is our v where the this one, the function is 2 minus 2t. Okay. Now we are going to draw s. So we know when t is equal to 0, s is equal to 8, right? So this one starts at 8. Okay, so we know at t is equal to 4, our s is equal to 0. So this one is 0, right? But then we know that we, it has a maximum point because when v is equal to 0, we have a maximum point. Okay, because if the, okay, never mind. So just see from this question. So we see this one is maximum point. So at 9, so t1, this one is equal to 9. So this one is equal to 9. So we see here we have a maximum point here which means that you can see that this one is a square, right? So why I delete it? Never mind. So our s is equal to this one, right? So we can see that we can see that we have t square which is a quadratic graph. So quadratic graph is something like curve, right? So you see here from here is going up to here. So from here is going up to here to the maximum point and then going down. Okay, so the graph is supposed to be like this, where this one is s is equal to 8 plus 2t minus t squared. So, inter interpret, the, interpret the graph. So, here, interpret the graph. So, we see here what happened here. So, we have to explain the changes uh, in the graph. So, we see here from, uh, firstly, we, see, we can say that at t, at t is equal to 0. Uh, we can say that here start to move, right? The particle starts at, so we can say that this one, displacement at 8 meter. So, we can see this one, the velocity with velocity of, so the velocity when it starts at t is equal to 0 is 2 meter per second. So it is mentioned that s is in meter and t is in second uh, with s. And then you say what happened. Uh, so you have to mention uh, displacement, velocity and acceleration of negative 2 meter per second square. So we can say that at t is equal to 1. So we see what happened to 1. We know that velocity is 0. We can say that velocity is 0. Velocity is 0 which is this one or the particle is at rest. It's not moving because velocity is 0 at the maximum displacement. So you can see that this one is the maximum displacement, right? This one is the peak with acceleration with the acceleration of negative 2 meter per second square so we see here at here we can see that it's going so we can see that this one from this one so we see it's going down right so it's actually changing direction so at t is equal to 1 it's changing direction it's changing direction so this one is changing direction from so we see here this one is Positive, right? Positive is going to the right. So, negative is going to the left. 
so this one is actually moving from left to right left to right because it's going negative so we see here at t is equal to 0 or we can say that at t So at this point, at t is equal to 4. So what happen is at t is equal to 4, the particle. So we see the particle. So we see this one is 0, right? Passes through a fixed point O. So the particle is at fixed point O. So we have with velocity. So the velocity is negative 6 meter per second. And acceleration acceleration is constant at 2 meter per second square so here what we can see from the graph this one we can see that the acceleration so the acceleration is constant from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 4. So, acceleration is constant, right? And then you can see from the graph, we can calculate what is the total distance travel. So, the total distance travel, you see here from 0 to 1, it's travel from 9. This one is start from 8, right? So, total distance travel. So, here total distance travel is equal to so this one is 9 to 8 right so which is 9 minus 8 and then here is going from 9 up to 0 so plus another 9 so 9 minus 8 is 1 plus 9 so this one is 10 meter so the distance the total distance travel from t is equal to 0 up to t is equal to 4 is 10 meter or we can say total distance travel throughout the given period is 10 meter so this one expression constant. So basically this one we explain about the changing in the graph and then we explain what we can see from the graph and then don't forget to put total distance travel. Alright.